Today I'm starting with a new video series about Angular Framework. And in this series, you will learn all the things you need to master Angular Framework. I'll start with basic stuff like components and pipes and slowly progress the most complex features of this framework. So let's start. Components are the main building block of Angular application. Each component consists of an HTML template that declares what renders on the page, a TypeScript class that defines behavior, a CSS selector that defines how the component is used in a template, and optionally, CSS styles applied to the component. A component must belong to an NG module in order for it to be available to another component. Why do we use components? There are many reasons, but the main ones are we are able to reuse our code so we don't duplicate it. Simplify component-based architecture, easy to do error handling, and breaking down the complexity into smaller pieces. Prerequisites for this video are install the Angular CLI and create an Angular workspace with initial application. If you don't have a project, you can create one using ng-new project name, where project name is the name of your application. Although the Angular CLI is the easiest way to create an Angular component, in this tutorial we will create our component manually. To create a new component, navigate your Angular project directory. Create a new file, hello world component ts file. At the top of the file, add the following import statement. After the import statement, add a component decorator. Decorator marks a class as an Angular component and provides metadata that decides how the component is used at runtime. Choose CSS selector for the component. This is the tag which you will be using in your template files to render your component. Define the HTML template that the component uses to display information. In most cases, this template is a separate HTML file, but I'll use it within this file. To define a template as external file, add a template URL property to the component decorator. For a template within the same file, use template property. Select the styles for the component's template. In most cases, you define the styles for your component's template in a separate file. Again, I will use it within the file. To declare the styles for a component in a separate file, add a style URLs property to the add component decorator. But for the styles within the component, add styles property. Add a class statement that includes the code for the component. Here we can define properties, methods, catch component lifecycle events, and do dependency injection, but I'll talk more about these in the next video. Now, all the public properties that you define in the class are accessible in the HTML template, and this is one of the most powerful things here. I'll create a Tyler property, and I will include it in the HTML. Import that new file in the module where you want to use it. To make it available for the whole app, import it in the root module. In order to see our component, we can use our CSS selector inside of our app component or any other component. And this is your first component, very simple though, which you can reuse across your app. 